Ngoma dialogue circles Ngoma Dite is modified Ngoma. Ngoma is cultural performances in Kenya. Ngoma dialogue circle is an innovative project that's trying to use the Ngoma to be used in classroom for teaching, uh, just like any other communication strategy. First, let us understand what is Ngoma. Ngoma is traditional dance performances in Kenya and uh, it refers to a diverse musical setting involving a combination of drumming, song, poetry, drama, dancing, storytelling, rap, and so many other cultural manifestations. Ngoma Diche. What is Ngoma Diche? A modification of Ngoma, the one that we have talked about. Ngoma Diche uses one to five minutes problem posing Ngoma item. And the Ngoma item can be a song, a parable, drama skit rap music, kanga clothing, the kanga clothing is the one that's being displayed there. Kanga clothing usually have a message, they usually have a parable, they usually have a tagline. Like this one says, Nakombea maulana heri unizidishia. I'm praying Lord that you give me more blessings. And this can be used as a trigger. This can be used as a problem. Uh, to actually trigger dialogue in a class. Like, what does it mean? Wh what are you reading from that meaning? So, kanga clothing, picture, video clip, other communication modes to represent and pro problematize an issue or topic. So, that's Ngoma Diche, which is the modification of Ngoma. As we've looked at Ngoma, is a musical uh, performance, uh, Kenya cultural performance. What is the theoretical underpinning of Ngoma Diche? It's based on Freire's theory of dialogical communication and the theory Freire was a Brazilian educator who used the dialogue or dialogue among adult educators as a form of learning. Basically Freire was saying we need to just facilitate dialogue among learners. They don't come in as empty vessels that are supposed to be filled. He runs away from the banking uh, theory of teaching where the lecturer is studying in front of a class, the students are passive and didactic, it's very authoritarian, non-negotiable. And he says that really is producing uh, people who cannot think, or it's producing students uh, who are actually more than just uh, a, a repository of knowledge rather than people who can actually think, who can actually use that knowledge to advance and bring about uh, much more innovation. So, Ngoma teacher is based on Freire's theory, uh, where the teacher is also a learner, and they co-create with, uh, with the learner, so to speak. And in this case, the Ngoma, which takes place in a classroom setting, with participants sitting in a big circle, is built upon three traditional African communication channels. One, Ngoma. Two, Wachemsha Ngoma. Three, Viringo. We'll look at each and every one. Ngoma, the first one, what is Ngoma? Ngoma, in this case, is where there is the drumming and it opening with a problem or question and uses call and response or can be a dance song, talk singing, drama and other manifestation, which we'll see in the video. The other one is Wachem Shangoma or one is Mchem Shangoma who performs the ngoma and motivates the dance or the dialogue in this case. So that there's a one person, a particular person, like an animator, who actually motivates the people to dance more, who actually is calling and the dancers respond. And that in Ngoma Diche is now the one who promotes dialogue, the one who triggers the dialogue or who sets the questions. Okay, then the final is Mviringo or the circle which is a call to facilitate dialogue. So those are the three that are basic African traditional communication uh, channels, which are also used in Goma Diche, Viringo, the dialogue circles. So organization of textualism has tended to delegitimize orality as a source of knowledge. And my research study aims to show how since time immemorial, African traditional dance performances as texts have used problem-based learning to pass knowledge from one generation to the other. These are the tools that have been used for socialization, 
for generational uh, passing of knowledge from one group of uh, people to the other. They are actually the repositories, the libraries, and there's a lot that is stored in the African traditional dances. They actually have lessons from how you can hunt, how you can actually dig, what are some of the medicinal trees that are around. So I want to actually not use the old form, but modify. This study is modifying those old forms, bring them back in so that we can also not lose or we should not throw the baby with the baby water. Okay, Ngoma Diche is an innovative project that is working to reinstate Ngoma in Kenyan classrooms. How is this going to do that? It's going to use problem-based learning techniques. And in this video, I show how Ngoma Diche can be used to teach Swahili, African languages, uh, communication skills, which is my area, development study, cultural studies. And we are doing more study. We are doing more uh, research to see Maybe it can even teach engineering, mathematics. It's a matter of a long-term study that we are trying to work to see what it will do. So let's watch the video and I'm looking forward to hear from you. Kurungi, Mawe, Kurungi, Kurungi, Kambona Samboja, Yuxavore, Mwakono, Isangai, Kurungi, Kurungi. It means that Kitumbo it is engaging in sex and the results are the results like pregnancy, AIDS. Kitumbua probably is the girl's virginity. I love the Kitumbua Changa, Kimibunji, Kanya, Ashafan. kuambukiza hata mawaziri na hata kuwezekana maraisi. Ugonjwa huu wa kimwi sijaupatia mwenzake ni mwanatume mgonjwa ambao hata dawa hauna. Ninasikitika sana nikisema hivi kwa sababu watoto hata majirani tumewapoteza. 
utoto kwamba hata kuna wazazi wetu pia tunaweza kuwapoteza kuna njezo zote ambazo pengine tuweza kuzitumia pengine kusitisha mwanzo wa ukimwi tutalichangia kwa pamoja hebu kidogo turudi pale kwa kasupuna yule cha kwizi cha kwizi amesema mmesema mambo ya ndoa mwanamke mmoja lakini kuna mila kama mmesikia vile cha kwizi amesema kabisa babu yake alikuwa anatupa sita na wana wako wangapi sasa hapa kuna mambo ya mila sisi mwasema ndoa mmoja eh na huku cha kwizi anasema babu yake alikuwa na wana wake sita hajui ukimwi nini sasa mnielezee wanzangu kuna mila Ha? mambo ya kuoa wanawake vile unapoweza hata kwa dini pia waislamu wanakubaliwa sasa mnielimpatie maoni yenu hapo mtasemaje ni sawa kabisa mimi pia sioni sioni kwa ni makosa makubwa vile sana unajua mtu anapoa wanawake sita pia kuna mazuri naona tena ni mengi sana maana kwa mfano wao toa hawa na wake sita ushasikia bwana hmm. kwa mfano kila bibi pale atazaa kama watoto watatu sasa mimi naona tena hii ni kama ajira pia maana kuna watoto wengi kwa mfano una shamba kubwa hiyo kampuni yako ipeleka shabani <tos>